closed the lead this morning, pulling two minutes on back there and finished right up behind him, which is, shows you that real speed of the turbine bike. Yeah, our plan was if we could settle in and um, get comfortable, we're going to sort of give it a bit of a push and see see how we go. And we sort of hit, hit the channels we wanted to, and um, things come together and the way we went. So yeah, that no, was good. We caught Nigel just after the pylons. He took, he sort of broke out to the right and we went up the middle, so we had a clean pass on him. And Ryan Ringer had a really clean run, but right near the end he went straight over a shingle bank. I was asking the navigator where the flag was and I wasn't paying attention to the river, I was looking at the bank. And... Uh -huh. He was yelling right, 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 and I was like, there's, I was thinking there's no flag over there. He actually meant right channel. But hey, he wasn't the only one because the world champion CX man, he did exactly the same thing. But he finished without a push. So when something like that happens, you, you're basically just looking for an out, really. And if it's across dry land, it's across dry land sometimes to get back in the river. And of course, Tony O'Loughlin in an FX boat, he did what we said. He needed the helicopter to get him back into the river. I left my brain in the back seat of the truck. Yeah, yeah, put the helmet on. You get that brain fade sometimes. You get in your boat and your, your foot takes over and your brain hops out. I think I had that one. Yeah, so hopefully I've got rid of that now. And I've, I've actually taped my brain in my helmet now, so hopefully I'll keep it there. Plenty of drama on the way down, but it was nothing for Regan. He had a very clean run. But Roger Preston, of course, pressing really, really hard, got into serious difficulty. Didn't have a push, but it did cost him some time. Pushed pretty hard the first half, but we. Um... Uh, made a balls up and missed a corner and, and mounted a bank and, and nearly tipped it on its side and then it sort of went downhill from then on. So we're very pleased to see the end. We, we sort of made mistake after mistake after that and, but we still got the second down so um, hopefully all good. And of course Nigel Cromie, who started second this morning, ended up about seventh or eighth today. He hit a bank. Right through there. But he never had a push and he did get to the finish line and that's what it's all about. That wraps up the Wymac River today and of course tomorrow we're off to the wire. And that's like 110 k's upstream, that is what we call a piston breaker. It's very hard on piston engines and it's a very fast river coming downstream as well. But that's a long way and it's a lot of time behind the wheel of the boat.